Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your Intuitively Awakened Star Seed here with a message for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, some Palo Santos. You guys, this is going to be a collective message. It is a timeless reading. And it is a reading for all signs. So it is for everyone, all zodiac signs, okay? So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tap in here because I am getting a lot of energy. I'm picking up on chaos, confusion, conflict, right? Yeah, there is someone that is definitely, um, I feel like it's someone that is over a situation or something like that, right? We're going to go ahead and tap in because I'm picking up on someone, a lot of love here, deep emotions for you, but I'm getting, <clears throat> there is a third party. Yeah, I'm picking up on some third party energy here or karmic energy. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at your person's current energy, um, the energy surrounding this connection or this separation, no contact. And we're going to take a look at what's ahead. What is this person's intention? So some Paula Santos, you guys, let's go ahead and tap into this reading. Please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. You guys, let's tap in. What is the who, what, when, where, and why for this reading? What is going on here? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, 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 well. <clears throat> mm. Somebody has abruptly. See, I'm picking up chaos. Confusion has erupted. And I feel like there's like been the energy I'm getting. It's like that nitpicking type of energy, right? So a lot of small problems being created. A lot of small fires, right? And it's like, I feel like somebody has reached their breaking point. Is That's what I'm getting, right? Like someone has reached their breaking point. I feel like this is the divine masculine's energy, right? Because I'm seeing a decision being made, right? And this is a decision that has your souls, right? It's you guys recognizing each other, this divine masculine recognizing your soul, right? But I feel like a decision has been made, right? So this Divine Masculine has made up their mind. They want a new beginning with you, right? So there could have been some clouded judgment in the past is what I'm picking up on. So this Divine Masculine could have been clouded. There could have been some illusions. They could have been distorted. They could have been fragmented in the past is what I'm getting. But now I'm seeing there is a major focus, manifestation, and a major focus on getting on the right track with you. This is what this Divine Masculine wants to do. They want to get on the right track with you, Divine Feminine. And I feel like there has just been a lot of arguments over you or this Divine Masculine arguing or you know, it's like, I feel like there's a third party that wants to shame this divine masculine into not loving you. Now, I am getting the energy that, and I was picking up on this, I feel like for some of you guys, you could be in contact. Not all of you guys are in no contact with this divine masculine, right? So this could be someone that you do talk to here and there. You still maintain a friendship for whatever reason, right? You still maintain a relationship with this person, but there is a lot of arguing over you and this divine masculine and this karmic third party. Yeah, I'm getting karmic. Look. Ooh. So. This is someone that you have had a romantic involvement with in the past, right? So I'm picking up on the energy that there was a separation and no contact, or maybe you are still in contact with this person. I'm getting either or here. 
<clears throat> but there are still romantic feelings for you. So this person still loves you. There's still feelings here is what I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are definitely still feelings, but I feel like this third party has picked up on this with this person, right? This person's been living in misery without you. So, and I feel like <clears throat> they've reached their breaking point with that divine feminine. Yeah, they're tired of being out in the cold. They're tired of being separated from you. This person is tired of hiding their feelings or denying their feelings for you. Oh, yeah. And I'm seeing that this person wants to take baby steps to come back towards you. They want to make a small love offer, a small gesture, something like that, because they've made up their mind. I'm seeing with the two the two of swords, right? They knew a decision needs to be made with regards to their feelings, right? They know their feelings for you are too strong. They can't hide them anymore, right? So they realize that it is time for them to make a decision, right? And I'm seeing they have decided that they do want this new beginning with you, right? They can't deny it anymore and that they wanna make a love offer. But I feel like this person wants to take baby steps, right? So they're tired and they're over being out in the cold, out in the cold from you, Divine Feminine. This person wants to take baby steps. I feel like it's like a temperature check, right? With you, right? They want to, it's like, they want to know how you feel, okay? They're not sure if you would even be receptive to their love offer, whether you're in no contact or in contact with this person. We have the hangman here, okay? So this person's definitely seeing things from a new perspective. They're seeing you in a new light. And when I see that two of swords, that's definitely giving the energy that now this person's soul is recognizing your soul. They're recognizing that you are kindred spirits, right? your kindred spirits. I feel like, you know, they're recognizing that the universe is guiding you guys back together. They are tapped into this energetic feeling that they're getting, right? And now they're, they have a deep knowing of what that is. So they're recognizing, this person is recognizing, again, that you are kindred spirits and that this magnetic pull that is guiding you back together is guiding you guys back together because you are divine counterparts, right? So this divine masculine has a deep knowing. They realize that you are home to them. This ain't home where they're at. No, divine feminine. This divine masculine has awakened. They have ascended and they realize this is not home. You are home to them, right? You are the place of unconditional love and who... They are supposed to be on a mission of unconditional love with, right? So you're their specific person. You're their divine counterpart. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Oh, thank you. See, temperance. Yeah, so this is you guys. This is the universe. Things are falling into place behind the scenes, but it's happening through this chaos and conflict, this chaos and confusion that has all of a sudden erupted, right? So, and that's how this happens a lot of times. It's like all of a sudden there's a shift, like a feeling in your soul, in your spirit to whereas you can no longer be in a situation. It is so uncomfortable. It, it, it just does not fit, right? You, your, your comfort level is completely gone. And I feel like this divine masculine has been living in misery, right? Yeah. And I feel like there has been some karma. There has been some judgment here, right? But I'm seeing there's a plot here too. Uh, this third party, there was a plot, right? And I feel like that the plot was to keep this divine masculine from coming back towards you. So Sagittarius energy on the board, right? You could be a Sagittarius. Your person could be a Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. But look. See, the Ten of Swords, this plot is backfiring. So this third party, this karmic feminine knows, they realize, 
I feel like there's something about them and I'm picking up on some like dark energy, right? Because I feel like they, they realize the bond that is between you and Divine Masculine, right? They know it. Even though this Divine Masculine didn't realize it, they knew it. And they tried to manipulate the situation to keep this Divine Masculine from coming back towards you, Divine Feminine. So this is like magical, mystical love, right? That you guys share. This is something that transcends space and time, right? This It transcends this physical realm, this physical dimension. Now, I'm getting... It's like enchanted love. Yeah, it's very enchanting. See? Happily ever after. So you guys are coming back into balance and this karmic third party knows it. They can feel it in this divine masculine's energy. They're very perceptive. This is a very, this is a dark energy, but they're also very tapped in. I'm 1111 on the timer. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. 1111 on the timer. This divine masculine is getting some clarity. And I keep getting that this dark energy, this third party is very tapped in, right? Yeah. And their plot is backfired. There could be some magic going on. That could be the magic that I'm picking up on. There could be something to do. They're doing something to keep this divine masculine in lower vibrational energy. Because they know that if this divine masculine meet, matches your frequency, right? If they match your vibration, then you guys will definitely come into union, right? But it's already happening. They can't block it because it is this is divine intervention. This is the universe, right? Guiding you guys back together. But there's something that they were doing or something they are still trying to do to keep this divine masculine in this lower vibrational energy. And that's why I'm picking up on magic or some type of spell work or some type of manipulation. I don't know why I just heard water magic or something. Yeah. So there's something about a lifestyle. There could be there could be overindulgence in something, some substances, something like that that I'm picking up on, right? So this person definitely tries to keep this divine masculine in this place, right? In this place in their life or something like that is what I'm getting. But that's where the magic is. That's where the core of the magic is. That's what I'm picking up on, right? But it didn't happen. This divine masculine is awakening. They're ascending, right? Or they have ascended. You can't stop it. What the divine has, this is divine guidance, divine intervention. They couldn't come in between this, right? Look, I told y'all, boom, there's the tower moment. They couldn't stop it. They can't stop this tower from happening. There's a tower moment happening, right? Or has happened. I feel like this divine masculine, I feel like there's been so much chaos, conflict, and confusion. Like, I feel like this erupted. It was like a, all of a sudden, all of this confusion erupted. And I'm seeing here a new beginning, right? So a new cycle starting. So 1010, angel number 1010 could be significant here because I'm definitely seeing a cycle coming to an end with this tower moment and then a new beginning with this world card showing up and this divine masculine turning their back on this situation, right? See, look, at the bottom of the deck, this is what you don't see coming. This is a new energy, right? This divine masculine is tapped into their higher self. They're tapped into their higher frequencies, right? So with that, this divine masculine can see 2020. And now this divine masculine is seeing that this third party was doing things, keeping them in a lower vibrational state to keep them from coming in vibration with you. But they couldn't stop it because they're in their emperor energy. They're in their divine energy, right? You guys are divine counterparts, right? 
kindred spirits. Look at that. Aries energy on the board. Y'all, I told you, I'm picking up on that diabolical energy and there's a devil card showing up, right? So there's manipulation, there's control. Somebody is the puppet master, right? Somebody is controlling puppet strings is what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody is trying to control. They're trying to be the puppet master with this divine masculine. It's no longer working. The plot is exposed, right? This divine masculine realizes the reason why they've been living in misery, right? Mm-hmm. Capricorn energy on the board. You could be a Capricorn. Your person could be a Capricorn. You could have um, Capricorn in your chart as well. Yeah, make sure you guys are checking your natal chart, your birth chart, so that you're getting the most out of your readings. But definitely, yeah, this is something to do with a cycle, a toxic cycle that was going on within this situation with this third party and this person. They were living in misery, right? And there were toxic, toxic manipulation. A lot of illusions is what I'm getting. A lot of things going on behind the scenes. But I, this divine masculine, it's backfiring. And I feel like this divine masculine sees it. Look, yeah, it's been exposed. It's been revealed, right? Seven of Swords. This divine masculine... <clears throat> There's a lifestyle that they've been feeding into, right? Or this third party has been keeping this cycle going to keep them in this cycle of being attached to them. That's how they've kept them attached to them. This divine masculine has awakened. They're tapped in. They see what's going on here. I feel like they ghosted them. They realize now there's nothing like your love. Your love was true. It was rare. There was no manipulation. There was no illusions with your love. Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups. Yeah. This was unconditional love, right? But it wasn't anything dark. There wasn't anything sinister, right? There's a lot of sinister dark energy going on here. Ciao. This divine masculine, I, I feel like they are ghosting or has ghosted this person. Once they have awakened to what was going on and what this person was doing to them and keeping them in this toxic, controlling, manipulative cycle, they ghosted them. They got the hell out of there. Or they will be queen of swords. Ooh. They're hoping you still have that same energy for them, that same passion. They want a second chance with you. Look, judgment card. A second chance. Phoenix rising from the ashes. Yeah. They want a second chance with you. And guess what? I am seeing a victory because all of this manipulation, all of this that was going on was, again, to keep this divine masculine from matching your frequency, from getting for you, from you guys getting into the same vibration. Because this energy knows, this dark energy, this third party understands. They know the laws of the universe. They understand the laws of attraction. And they knew that they had to keep the frequencies off. And they did that by some manipulation, something to do with a toxic cycle, something to do with a lifestyle. I keep picking up on that, something to do with a lifestyle. And again, it could have been substances. It could have been something to do with, I don't know, some type of addictive behavior. It could be any type. It could be substance. It could be physical that you're picking up what I'm putting down, you know, um, magic, like sex magic, things like that. Yeah, could be a lot of things, but there was definitely, I'm getting a lot of trickery, a lot of deceit, a lot of deception to keep this divine masculine in a certain vibration. That's where the magic was, y'all. Mm. Not something. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine, please give us more. They're in deep despair, y'all. 
this third party, this karmic is in deep despair because it's backfiring. It's all backfiring. Their whole diabolical, wicked plan is now backfiring. Their magic is nothing in comparison to the universe, source, divine intervention. This third party is creating karmic debt for themselves. This is something that they never should have come in between of. Oh, as, uh-huh, confirmation. There it is. That's how they were keeping this divine masculine bound to them. I feel like people, the community, seen that this divine masculine was with this person. It looked like they were moving on towards a future. It appeared that they were happy, so attached to one another. All that glitters is not gold, you guys. Yeah, because behind the scenes, there was so much manipulation going on. And it was this toxic cycle, whatever it was. This divine masculine was living in misery, but they were attached to something else. There was something else that had a hold on them. And it was something to do with some type of addictive behavior. And that's what they used to keep this divine masculine in a lower vibrational energy. To keep them from meeting your vibration. They burdened them with this. Chow. Now they're losing it. This third party's losing it, y'all. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Uh-huh. It's all been exposed. See, now that this divine masculine has ascended and has awakened, they can see 2020. Divine masculine is also tapping into their own spiritual gifts. So now that they've tapped into their own spiritual gifts, they are very much aware of what has happened. This third party's plot has been exposed and that it's backfired because I'm getting this divine masculine. Once they figured out what was going on, what was keeping them tied and to this living in misery type of situation with this third party, they got the hell out of there immediately. That's what I got y'all. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. They see it. The transparency was there. They see that their happiness is with you, Divine Feminine. The Four of Wands. This is you guys coming back into frequency. This is you guys coming back and becoming a vibrational match, okay? So there is... <clears throat> I'm seeing a commitment. I'm seeing a ceremony. I'm seeing a ceremony. I am seeing... Um, Tradition, yes. Something to do with a union. So this could be an engagement. This could be some type of commitment ceremony. It definitely could be a marriage. Um, when we're speaking of this divine masculine's true intentions and their true feelings towards you, divine feminine, this is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, the four of wands. And that's 1111, angel number 1111. Mm-hmm. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This third party is a losing it. Yeah, they are losing it. All types of anxiety, worried about the future, this connection. There's no need to worry. It's a wrap. The universe has now stepped in, right? The universe is working behind the scenes to bring you guys back into alignment, back into frequency. I feel like you can pick up on this energy with this person, right? And again, for some of you guys, you may not have been in no contact with this person. So you may have talked to them um, briefly here and there, things like that. You know, you could, I don't know. There's something, there. for some of you guys, I'm picking up on you know, there could be a familial connection or something like that to where as you do still talk to this person, right? Um, page of Swords. A lot of spying energy. Uh-huh. So this Divine Masculine definitely wants to know what's going on in your life. So I am picking up on they're doing a lot of spying, right? And they're also tapping into their higher self. They're tapping into the astral plane because guess what? You guys, your souls recognize one another and you guys can still communicate 
on a spiritual level, right? Being kindred spirits, yes, yeah, yeah. What would I just say? You guys are tapped in telepathically, divine feminine, divine masculine. You're tapped in telepathically here, right? I'm seeing a divine union. And again, with this two of cups energy, this is definitely giving me the energy. The universe is working behind the scenes to bring you guys back together, right? So I feel like you can feel, you you still care for this person, yeah? But I feel like, you know, it just appeared that this person was happy. They had moved on, right? They were in union with this person, but there was a lot going on behind the scenes that's being exposed in this reading and also being exposed to this divine masculine. Spirit, please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. Ooh, see? This divine masculine is still holding on very tight to you. So this third party knew that this divine masculine had never detached from you, right? There was never a complete detachment and it would never be that way. No, it would never be that way, divine feminine, because of the bond that you guys share. This is a past life connection. You guys have a soul contract. You guys have a soul agreement, right? There was a soul activation and a soul tie created between you guys previously, right? So, this third party realizes. See, they knew more than this divine masculine knew. You knew too, right? But you knew that whatever was going on at the place that this divine masculine was at in their life, in their journey, in their spiritual journey, was not aligning with you at the time. But this divine masculine was still attached to you. Uh-huh. They were still attached to you. Yeah. Ah. There it is. The past life connection. That's what I just said. With the Six of Cups, right? This divine masculine is nostalgic. They are very nostalgic for um, the past and the times that you guys have shared. But they're also nostalgic for a past lifetime. There's something in a past lifetime. You guys, this is a very deep reading. This is a deep connection. But there's something that they're nostalgic for even for a past lifetime or this could be them being nostalgic for you because you are their divine counterpart. You are their home away from home here in this physical dimension. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they're yearning for you. This Their soul is yearning for you. They're longing for you. That connection, right? Yeah. And this is what this third party was trying to bind this divine masculine come in come in between of Ooh. so by them trying to come in between this connection with you and divine masculine divine feminine they were going up against the universe they were going up against source the divine mm -hmm. they don't know what they stepped in the middle of see they were coming in the middle of something that was not for them. This was not for them. This divine masculine was for you. This manifestation of this divine masculine was for you, not for this third party. Spirit, please give us more. Oh. How's that for confirmation? Here's the high priestess. Uh-huh. There's a lot being revealed here supernaturally in the spiritual realm. There is a lot being revealed, right? And I'm picking up on 2020 vision with regards to this third party and this divine masculine. And I'm also picking up on that communication in the astral realm. So this high priestess is definitely showing up with regards to a lot of... Um, A lot of spiritual gifts, right? A lot of intuition. 
there's a lot of magic, mystical energy going on within this reading. Uh-huh. Good and bad. Light and dark. Uh-huh. Light and dark. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Ooh. And regardless, the Divine Masculine is still taking action to come back towards you because you are their divine counterpart. Uh-huh. Spirit, please give us more. Wow, with this reading. Wow. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. There's a magician. Y'all, this reading. Wow. This divine masculine sees that you have everything that they ever wanted, everything that they needed. They see that you are their divine counterpart, right? Eternal, infinite love that you guys share. This is a mission of unconditional love that you're on here in this physical realm, right? Now, also with the magician, the magician is also... Um, the magician can also represent some type of magic going on. And I told you I'm picking up on that mystical, magical energy, both light and dark in this reading. As it is above, so it is below. You see that? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of manifestation going on here, right? Or manifesting, right? But you are this divine masculine's manifestation, right? here in this physical realm, in this physical dimension. Now, you are their wish fulfillment. You're their wish granted, Divine Feminine. There is someone that's trying to manipulate that energy. Because <laughs> they choose you. This Divine Masculine chooses you. This Divine Masculine regrets their choices in the past they're coming back towards you. So again, I'm picking up on that page of cups energy to whereas this divine masculine. So we have cancer energy here. We do have um, the chariot card, this divine masculine coming towards you. But I feel like it's going to be in baby steps. So I feel like there's there's like abrupt beginnings and abrupt endings, right? Because there's awakenings happening. There's spiritual awakenings happening with this divine masculine. So everything that's happening, these shifts are very abrupt. So they're being moved into different levels and different spaces. So I feel like they're rushing in, but then they're going to want to take baby steps, right? So I feel like their energy may be a little, you may be a bit confused, right? Because I'm picking up chaos, but then confusion and it has erupted, right? But this, their energy may confuse you a bit because they're going to rush in, then things are going to get slow, right? Then they're going to start love bombing you, like, or it feels like they're love bombing you, right? This divine masculine is being catapulted into different situations now, new levels, because they have awakened, they have ascended, right? Yeah, so definitely be mindful of that, reading in between the lines, tapping into your intuition, utilizing your loving, healing, nurturing energy, that empathy, but definitely tapping into your higher self, divine feminine, because this divine masculine may be a bit, you know, you may be like, why are you acting like this? Or, you know, but it's all good, right? But it's just like something you're not used to. So again, this divine masculine has awakened. They're in their emperor energy. So this is now a divine masculine. They're no longer distorted. They have awakened. But also too, they, these shifts are powerful and fast that are happening in this divine masculine's life at this time. See that? Eight of wands, speed, right? Ooh, ooh. what I tell you? Lover's card. 
Gemini energy. There is an undeniable passion between you guys too. I'm seeing with that lover's card, Gemini energy, but I am seeing the eight of wands. You guys are coming back together fast, right? Definitely fast. And that is so indicative of a twin flame connection. Yeah. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. Look at this. Okay. King of Swords. They know what they want. You. They want you. Look at this. So I'm seeing they realize that you are their wish fulfillment. They realize that you are their wish granted. This divine masculine is deeply in love with you, okay? And don't play about you. Very protective of you, right? Very protective of you. Look, we got the King of Cups and then we got the King of Swords. This divine masculine is very passionate about you, but they, they really don't play about you. Not at all. No, not once. No, never. So I'm picking up on a lot of protection here, angelic protection over this connection. And there's the chaos. Uh-huh. There's the chaos. And here comes the love offer. Coming back to you, divine feminine. Yup. They're bringing their cup of love back to you. And again, there's going to be karma over this conflict, this chaos, over this this binding. I'm picking up on binding, right? With this third party. Child, there's about, hmm. There's about to be some fallout here. What else we got, spirit? Yeah, it's about to be some fallout. Okay. Because you're now the priority. See, this divine masculine was juggling in the past. This third party, yeah, this divine masculine, they were juggling in the past. Uh-huh. That's why you guys were separated. That's why you guys were in no contact or just separated, but maybe you still talked here and there. Because I feel like for some of you guys, there was still a friendship there. You guys were able to maintain some sort of contact. Some of you guys, not all of you guys, but I feel like for some of you guys, you were so able to maintain some type of friendship, right? Some type of camaraderie, some type of connection, right? Even though you walked away. But look, that's turning into this. And this divine masculine regretting. They regret what happened. Mm-hmm. Five of Cups, but look at this. Rushing back in with communication. Ace of Cups. So this is, the Ace of Cups is all about abundant love. The Ace of Cups is all about that unconditional love. Starting that mission again. Starting that journey of unconditional love. And this divine masculine, I told you, see, this is that abrupt that abrupt energy of them coming towards you, right? Breaking this no contact, coming towards you. Yes, that's what I'm getting. Spirit, please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Oh, justice. I told you there's going to be some karmic justice. Mm -hmm. Oh, there could be some justice around here. Because again, this third party, they don't know what they got in the middle of here. Look at this. Wounded soldier coming home to build a future with you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What else we got, Spirit? You're the only one for them. You're their Divine Counterpart, Kindred Spirits. You're the only one that could tame them. I feel like people see the difference when this Divine Masculine is with you. Even though there was a, an illusion. It was all a facade. Like that they were happy and, you know, this divine masculine and this third party, they were happy. This was all an illusion, right? There was so much manipulation going on behind the scenes with this connection. Oh, my goodness. Ciao. Yeah, they see you as the queen of pentacles. This divine masculine wants a new and abundant beginning with you. Something coming to an end. Scorpio energy on the board. Look at that. Hyperfin card showing up. A commitment. Wheel of Fortune. Those emotions that were hidden, because I feel like for some of you guys, you're still in contact with this person. 
Um, but I do feel like, you know, there's hidden emotions and this divine masculine definitely wants to communicate those. There is the ace of swords starting off and breaking a no contact. If you guys are in no contact, look at that. Come through spirit. We got Pisces energy on the board. We got the wheel of fortune. Very good karma. I'm seeing very, very good karma with regards to this connection with divine feminine and divine masculine, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, this got deep. Look, I'm seeing a long-term commitment and we got the four of wands showing up, y'all. Whoo. Yeah, this done backfired. This done backfired, y'all. I want to pull just a few um, oracle cards here really quick, you guys. Yeah, and see what we get here. Spirit, please give us a clear message because this is a really deep reading, y'all. Please give us a clear message. What's ahead for this connection? What are the true intentions? This person's true feelings towards divine feminine. Oh, child, right off the rip. You got a message coming in, come through. A message of love coming in. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Mm. Union, you guys coming back into union. A message is on the way, ciao. Yeah, and if you're still in contact, this person, what they're getting ready to say to you, this, look, them conversations is about to be different, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Spare, please give us more for the collective. Ooh, thank you. Mm. Facing fears, yes. Facing their fears, face it. Yeah, they had to, and they got that. They faced their fears, all right, with this third party. Oh, chow. And they got on up out of there. I'm picking up on that ghosting energy. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Oh, thank you. Oh, chow. Separation heals. It was a, a learning. This was a learning experience, right? They woke now. Separation heals and they will return. Mm-hmm. Because me a message is coming, right? Chow. What else we got here? Breakthroughs, marching ahead. And I'm seeing ghosting. Mm-hmm. They getting ghosted. What else we got? Look, Divine Masculine Awakening. Tapped in. What else we got, Spirit? Mm-hmm. What else we got? Symptoms of ascension. Yeah, this Divine Masculine has awakened. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more. Thank you. Miracles ahead. Communication is coming. I'm getting a lot of communication coming. And if you're still in contact with this Divine Masculine, that communication is about to change, right? Yeah, that communication is about to be different, y'all. You guys, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.